Yeah, hi and namaste guys. This is Santosh Kumar and well in this new medical blog I am along with Dr. Sudhendu uh, Singh uh, in short uh, Dr. S.K. Singh from Kavya Hospital based here in Zanakpur. और आज की इस मेडिकल ब्लॉग में हम डॉक्टर एस के सिंह से बात करेंगे कैसी सुविधा एक्चुअली अवेलेबल है यहाँ पे काव्या हॉस्पिटल में काव्या हॉस्पिटल की और भी और भी प्लान फ्यूचर प्लान क्या है इनका वेल डॉक्टर सिंह वेरी गुड मॉर्निंग नमस्ते कैसे हैं आप गुड मॉर्निंग हम बहुत अच्छे हैं एंड थैंक यू फॉर हैविंग मी एट योर ब्लॉग वेल डॉक्टर सिंह प्लीज़ टेल अस समथिंग अबाउट योर सेल्फ कितने सालों से आप मेडिकल मतलब एज ए फिजिशियन प्रैक्टिस कर रहे हैं नेपाल में और कब से ये कार्य हॉस्पिटल आपने इस्टेब्लिश किया हुआ है ओके सो आई हैव डन माय एमबीबीएस फ्रॉम इंडिया एंड आफ्टर माय एमबीबीएस आई हैव डन एमडी इन इंटरनल मेडिसिन फ्रॉम नेशनल अकेडमी ऑफ मेडिकल साइंसेज काठमांडू एंड आफ्टर दैट एज अ फिजिशियन आई हैव वर्क इन वेरियस हॉस्पिटल्स ऑफ नेपाल लाइक स्टार्टिंग फ्राम National Medical College, Birgan, mm -hmm. and uh, uh, short span of time I have worked in uh, Jhapa, also in Kankai uh, Hospital, mm -hmm. and after that, uh, mm -hmm. for last twelve years, I am settled here in my hometown, Janakpur, mm -hmm. with uh, projection of Kabya Clinic for last twelve years, and uh, lastly, we have presented mm -hmm. uh, our Kabya Hospital mm -hmm. for last five years to people of Janakpur mm -hmm. as a boon in. Health sector. Uh huh. And uh, like, what sort of facilities? Let's talk about the facilities uh, which are available out here right now in Kavya Hospital. Okay, thank you for this question. Mm -hmm. And uh, at present, Kavya Hospital is providing so many facilities uh -huh. which were earlier not available in Janakpur region. Uh -huh. But to begin with, mm -hmm. like uh, I want to tell you about uh, uh, previous history of Kavya Hospital. Mm -hmm. We started this hospital mm -hmm. as a a uh, pilot project in this region mm -hmm. and uh, we started the uh, hospital for uh, for specialty only like uh, physician gynecologist orthopedics and surgeon mm -hmm. but within 5 years mm -hmm. we have reached the optimum level mm -hmm. till now we have provided in this region mm -hmm. neurosurgery mm -hmm. being first hospital to mm -hmm. provide neurosurgery in this janakpur region mm -hmm. we have also gain the popularity mm -hmm. among uh, the hospitals uh, here in Janakpur region mm -hmm. that we are having best setup of ICU and NICU mm -hmm. in this region. Mm -hmm. We are also providing laparoscopic surgery of different uh, categories like urosurgery. Mm -hmm. Earlier in Janakpur region, no urosurgery was there mm -hmm. and uh, now you can see urosurgery at, at uh, different stages. Mm -hmm. We are doing here in Kabya hospital itself mm -hmm. and patients are getting benefited here. Also, likewise for the neurosurgery also, mm -hmm. the patients uh, earlier used to go Biratnagar and Kathmandu for this neurosurgery mm -hmm. uh, uh, treatment, mm -hmm. but now they all are having treatment of various neurosurgical procedures at here in Kabya Hospital as well. And uh, let's talk about the number of doctors, health workers uh, ev more like uh, available here right now okay. here at Kabya Hospital. So, at present, Kabya Hospital is running 50 bedded hospital multi speciality, mm -hmm. and as per government norms, mm -hmm. we are providing optimum number of staffs. Mm -hmm. Nearly 100 staff, medical staffs, are working here in Kabya Hospital, mm -hmm. including 16 uh, medical officers, that is MBBS doctors, mm -hmm. and uh, as far as the specialists are concerned, we are having 28 part-time specialist mm -hmm. in Kabya Hospital, at Albert Kabya Hospital, mm -hmm. and uh, three full-timers doctors. Mm -hmm. One thing I would like to add you, mm -hmm. that we are having a critical care and anesthesia specialist doctor, mm -hmm. 24 hours, that is full-timer in uh, our hospital, that is no one in this sector, in this region of Janakpur is providing. Uh -huh. And uh, let's, uh, let's talk about uh, the level. Uh, how do you compare or where do you put uh, Kavya Hospital uh, among all, like there are so many other private hospitals uh, available here in Janakpur. So where do you put Kavya Hospital among those all uh, private hospitals? Okay, so you want to compare, me to compare the uh, our Kavya Hospital with uh, other private hospitals? No, the level, level okay. of services. So uh, what? Uh, Earlier also in many different interviews I have answered this question mm -hmm. and I have said 
I, I or the Kabya hospital don't feel competition with any other private hospital or any government hospital. Mm -hmm. We at Kabya hospital feel that we are in competition with ourselves only. Mm -hmm. Because earlier, as I have said, mm -hmm. that to begin with this Kabya hospital, five years back, mm -hmm. Kabya hospital was not providing neurosurgery. Mm -hmm. Cabia Hospital was not able to provide Eurosurgery, Cabia mm -hmm. Hospital was not able to provide laparoscopic surgery, mm -hmm. but after five years or four years, you see that at present Cabia Hospital is providing all these surgeries, all this is super specialty treatment. Mm -hmm. So we are in competition with ourselves. Mm -hmm. What Cabia Hospital was yesterday, now mm -hmm. Cabia Hospital is winning that all uh, stages. Mm -hmm. So we are in competition with ourselves and we are improvising ourselves day by day. And uh, let's talk about your role. Uh, as you are a chairman of Karya Hospital, uh, what's your future plan? Uh, what uh, what sort of like a they are still? I believe you have you have something in your mind. You want to bring those facilities uh, in upcoming future. So, what are the major uh, goal like upcoming goals? Let's talk about your upcoming goals uh, for Karya Hospital. Okay, so uh, we have. Uh given people of Janakpur different services, mm -hmm. but what we feel is we are lacking in the sector of cardiology. Uh -huh. We are at present having non-invasive cardiological setup. That means we are not providing any surgical cardiology procedure here right now. Uh -huh. So we are uh, thinking or we are planning in future, if possible, mm -hmm. if sub we'll get support from government as well as for public mm -hmm. and other uh, specialist team, mm -hmm. then we will be heading towards providing angiography, angioplastic and even bypass. Mm -hmm. So these are the uh, future plans of Kabya Hospital. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Mm -hmm. And uh, well, uh, let's talk something more about uh, modern uh, medical equipment uh, because uh, for example, uh, you can't consider uh, like good institution without uh, like a uh, like good manpower. You need to have a modern equipment uh, as well. So, what sort of modern equipment do you have, and what sort of modern equipment you are planning to bring out here in Kabya Hospital? Okay, thank you for the question. Uh, you see, the Kabya Hospital is known for better or best equipments in this region. Uh -huh. We don't have to say this, this uh, topic very much because this is now a known fact that Kabya Hospital is equipped mm -hmm. with better or best medical equipments. Mm -hmm. We are providing services, uh, namely mm -hmm. we are having like uh, we are running at present six bedded ICU intensive care unit. Mm -hmm. For all bed we are having separate ventilators. Mm -hmm. We are having cardiac defibrillator, mm -hmm. not only one. Mm -hmm. We are having two separate cardiac defibrillators. Mm -hmm. We are having for child also. We are having neonatal ventilators. We are having CPAPs. Mm -hmm. We are having different infusion pumps and all other sorts of um, equipments. We are having endoscopic facilities. We are having colonoscopic facilities. We are having echocardiographic facilities. Mm -hmm. So there are different mode of equipments, different varieties of equipment we are having. We are providing those services. Mm -hmm. And as you said. Mm -hmm. We need a specialist service as well, the manpower, mm -hmm. a specialized manpower. Mm -hmm. So we are having that also to operate that very equipment in a proper way to provide a proper facilities to the public of Janakpur region. Well, uh, Dr. Singh, we are almost uh, by the end of this blog. Well, we do have a few more questions. Uh, let's talk about the communication. How do you ensure a communication successfully reach board members? You have uh, board members like medical experts and patient fa uh, family. Like, how do you communicate with the, all those people? Okay, so uh, I can give you a short examples in ICU how we can communicate with people. Like if the patient is uh, being admitted in ICU, mm -hmm. our team, including mm -hmm. uh, critical care specialists mm -hmm. and other concerned specialists, mm -hmm. we discuss the case mm -hmm. as a teamwork mm -hmm. and we come to the conclusion mm -hmm. and we call on the patient and relatives, patient mm -hmm. uh, relative, mm -hmm. and uh, these all communications are getting video recorded uh -huh. so that in future also we can say that we have already explained regarding the outcomes and the seriousness of the disease so we explain all the cases in brief to the patient's relative mm -hmm. and all video records are being kept as a proof mm -hmm. here in hospital mm -hmm. and in every morning and evening mm -hmm. in icu setup we used to uh, give a brief description of the patient's outcome to the patient's relative well uh one more question, uh, what uh, would you do as chairman if the reason, like if the Janakpur has experienced like any major crisis, uh, like what we have seen like a corona, uh, in corona pandemic, uh, 
Uh, are you like a, is a Kavya Hospital is all prepared for that? Do you have a, are you all equipped with a, like modern equipment? Like you said, you are all equipped with the modern equipment. But are you all, your hospital is all prepared for that? Can you handle those sort of pressure? Okay. So uh, this uh, we don't have to speculate any answer. Mm. We have answered this question practically in uh, past, mm. like uh, during Corona pandemic. Mm -hmm. You see, uh, we are having here government hospital. Mm. They treated nearly 250 cases, mm -hmm. and we treated uh, nearly 253 cases. Mm -hmm. So, Kabya uh, Hospital at the time of pandemic has proved itself eligible for any. Mm -hmm. Uh, miss happening natural calamities mm -hmm. we are always ready and we uh, after this corona calamity we are always prepared for that type of natural calamities well uh, thank you so much uh, dr singh uh, for your time thank you well uh, that was dr uh, sudhendu singh uh, from uh, kavya hospital the chairman well uh, guys if you haven't subscribed my channel please do subscribe as well and do let get me your comment in the in the comment box and uh, if you want, uh, we can do more more medical blog. Uh, so please get me your idea and your suggestion uh, in the comment box as well. Thank you so much and take care and bye bye.